everyone. Okay, so it's 14 days until I get on that stage. Two weeks exactly from today, and that means that um, by this time, or by about this time, maybe a little later in those two weeks, I will be finished with the first competition. Um, today was a pretty, pretty good day. Uh, not, well, no, I think it was pretty bad. Um, Food-wise, I went to a cross-country meet this morning where my kids were running. Not my kids, but my runners from my team were running. And I ate before going, but then when we got there, and I took food with me, I took my whole cooler. Um, when I got there, Sherrod asked me if I wanted him to bring my cooler with us to the site. And for some reason, I said no. And as a result, I was really, really hungry by the time the race was over and it was time for us to go. And normally after we finish the races, we go and eat breakfast somewhere. But all I wanted to do more than anything was get back to my truck and eat food, um, since I already had some in there. Uh, during that trek from the um, from the site to our car, which was about half a mile at least, um, I had a hangry, hungry, angry response to um, Sherrod, and, and in the process, of course, he's laughing at me, which is making me more upset, but, you know, after I sat and ate and everything, I realized... I realized uh, what it was, that whole hangry thing, and apologized, but, um, yeah, that's real. And Sherrod said that he didn't realize how serious it was until he was, until, you know, some, until this competition stuff came about, and, uh, and he realizes how much food can affect a mood. So, that wasn't too good, but then, you know, after eating and everything, um, I felt a little bit better, but I was still just really hungry because, you know, just the amount of food that I was eating, I should have eaten more than egg whites as my protein, but I thought four ounces, or sorry, three and a quarter ounces would be enough. It wasn't. Um, later on, after the meat and everything and after eating, well, I didn't eat at Panera, everyone else did, I just had some coffee, but I got home and immediately took a nap, and normally my naps only last about 30 minutes. Uh, this one lasted from 12, about 12.10 12, until about 2.10. So a good two-hour nap, which is something that I'm just not used to. So I woke up kind of groggy and uh, a little bit out of it and very, very hungry. So I immediately went to the kitchen, got another meal, and you know it was good to go there, watch movies with the boys and all that stuff. My workout tonight, although it was going very, very well, I got cut short because the gym closed at 8 and I was finishing my last round. Well, I didn't get to my last round. I got to the fifth round out of the sixth round. So at least I got five in before I had to leave. Um, but it was it was pretty tough. You know, I can, I can feel the difference in my muscles and everything. So I know that they're growing and responding well to this, uh, to this new workout. Um, after this, though, uh, or after that, I went to the store, got my meal prep stuff, sat in a pizza restaurant waiting for the pizza to feed to my kids and Sherrod, and uh, that was, it was tough sitting in there smelling all that wonderful pizza, knowing that I'm not going to get to eat any of it, um, but, you know, that's life, and I'm okay with it because I have these goals, so um, home now, getting ready for meal prep and everything for, for the rest of this week. And, um, or at least for tomorrow, we'll see if my meals change or, or not based on what my coach says. So, so far, you know, it was a so-so day. Not the best, not the worst, but, you know, got through it. Um, ready to eat and then go to sleep. So hopefully I can get in bed by 1030 at the latest. We'll see. But that's all for me. 14 days. I can make it. I know I can. Just have to stay the course. So that's it for me. Have a good one.